Now, the problem could also ask, find the i about any point. It doesn't have to ask right and left and or anything. How would I do any point of the rod? Once you get to the center of mass, then from there you shift any which direction you want. That's it. From the center of mass, you could go this way or you could go this way. From, if, I, if I go this way, it's 1 15th. If I go that way, the same distance, it's again 1 15th. If I go over here, it's more and more and more and more. The hardest axis to rotate this around is the left end. The, the farthest distance from the center of mass is always the hardest, okay? <clears throat> Now, let's compare this for a second, and let's see if it, this is making sense. If you have a uniform rod, and you try to rotate it around the left end, center, and right end, the moment of inertia of this is 1 third ml squared. Okay, one third ml squared, one twelfth ml squared, one third ml squared. Let's see if this is making sense. This rod is a different kind of weird rod. If I rotate it around here, it's two thirds ml squared. Okay, so what is that telling us? It's uh, this is twice as hard to rotate as uh, uh, this one is. For, uh, uh, this one to rotate it between uh, any end around any end, it's one third ml squared. This one to rotate it about the left end is two-thirds ml squared is twice as hard. Is, is, does, um, does that make sense? Should it be twice as hard? I mean, I'm not saying whether the two is right or not. We can't really uh, see. But should it be harder to rotate it? Well, the answer is yes, because this rod is made of material which is getting hard, uh, heavier here. And its center of mass is located here. So of course, to rotate this, OK? It's going to be harder to rotate this about the left end. Think about this like almost, just to give it a little bit more practical implication, think about this almost like a baseball bat. Almost like this, and then it gets hot, thicker and bigger. Just, just so you can see a little bit more practical implication of this, what I'm saying. Imagine this is the density of the baseball bat, and it gets denser, heavier here. And then here is the center of mass of the, the center of mass of the baseball. Okay, the ba the bat. What I'm saying is, it's harder to swing the baseball bat around the left end here than it is for to swing a regular ruler around the left end. Even if the masses are the same, you see, because here the distribution of the mass is more massier. Okay, so it's two twice as hard to rotate this around than here. But on the other hand, look at the, if I were to rotate this around the, around the center of mass, what is the moment of inertia there? 275th, OK? Whereas the moment of inertia of that one around its center of mass is 1 12th ml squared. Which one is smaller or bigger? 1 12th versus uh, uh, 275th. See, which one is bigger, 1 12th or 2 75th? Which fraction is bigger? 1 12th. So that means to rotate this around its center of mass is harder than to rotate that around its center of mass. OK? Because this one, most of the distribution of mass is close to it. So if I rotate this around its center of mass, it's easier. Another way to say that is if you were to apply the same torque to the, both of them, let's say you had two objects, swing it up in the air, rotate, uh, the baseball bat should swing faster. Okay, It should swing faster because it's rotating around its center of mass. You see? And then how about it's this end? To rotate it about this end, uh, that one is 1 15th versus this one is uh, 1 12th. Well, that one's sort of, uh, actually, this one is easier than 1 -third. The right end is 1 -third. This is 1 15th. So the right end is easier. Center mass is really easy, but the left end is harder. Okay? 
and you could then rotate it about any other end here also. So at least now you kind of see the, I the idea of what we did. <clears throat> okay, how about